this unit, we're looking at well-being. Do we eat the right foods? Do we take enough exercise? Well, today we're really lucky to have nutritionalist Esther Mills, who's also the editor of three popular health magazines. Esther. Hi, hello. Thank you for joining us. What's your top tip for a healthy lifestyle? Uh, I think the most important thing is really to realise that it has to be something you have to consider every single day okay. and long term for the rest of your life. That includes things like having a very good diet full of positive things like mm -hmm. fruit and veg, good whole grains. Mm -hmm. Look at the things you might need to take out of your diet, things like bad fats, too much salt, too much sugar, okay. um, having a good amount of sleep, mm -hmm. you don't do it at least <laughs> eight hours a day. Um, and also exercise, you can't do it without exercise as well, at least three times, um, you know, 30 minutes a week. Okay, uh, and what question would you like to ask people today? Yeah, I'd really like to find out whether people feel they have a healthy diet and right. lifestyle um, and really help them to try and understand a little bit more about it. Okay, great. The, the food I think that is healthy is um, fruits, vegetables, and for me personally, the only type of meat I eat is, is um, chicken and fish, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if I do healthy actually. <laughs> I like apples. I ate an apple, when was it? Uh, two months ago. Okay. Yeah. I like teglatelli with cherry plum tomatoes. I'm taking like, quite a lot of pasta, uh, a lot of fruits. Tuna. I'm not a big tuna fan, but fresh fish, salmon, it's quite nice. I like to cook Indian curries. Any fresh seafood I love, lobsters, prawns, anything like that. I love ice cream. Kebabs. Yeah, pizza chips, that kind of thing. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. I advocate healthy eating at all times. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but it's not the fruits and vegetables that you know about. I do a lot of West Indian fruits and vegetables. So Esther, tell me, what made you interested in health? Very personal reasons actually. Um, the first reason was that my dad had um, heart disease when he was in his late 30s, early 40s. For me that was a really important thing to try and understand. And the second reason was I was really overweight as a child. So I had to try and re-educate myself about food, about the positive benefits of eating, my health, rather than just because I like the taste of it all the time. Um, and why is it so important for us to care about what we eat and, and our lifestyle? Well, the research is really clear. Unless we're actually really diligent on a daily basis with what we eat and whether we exercise and you know whether we look after our minds and our emotions, you know we have a higher incidence of the main Western diseases such as heart disease, cancers, bone problems. You know um, all of the typical ageing conditions that can actually add years onto our life. Diet and health and nutrition. Um, and exercise can play a really positive part in helping with that in later life. So we've spoken to quite a few people today. Do you think, are we a healthy nation? Well, I've actually been really encouraged by what I've seen on the streets today. Uh, lots of people are saying they know the message about fruits and vegetables. They also know, or seem to know, that they should have things in moderation. And they've been put on, on the spot a little bit. But I suspect behind the scenes they probably sit and watch television late at night and have the occasional uh, snacks and things. Yeah, there was lots of ice cream and yeah. pizza. Well, again, it's all about healthy choices. Uh, ice cream can be good for you if you choose a low-fat version and have it once in a while. We've got to enjoy our food as well, so once in a while is fine, but not every day.